We begin with breaking news from the Kensington neighborhood of Philadelphia. Our cameras are on the 1800 block of East Atlantic Street, where a woman was shot in the stomach late this evening. Her family tells police she's nine months pregnant. We cannot get a description of a shooter or shooters at this time. The family believes that this female may have been struck by stray gunfire. At this time, we can't find any ballistic evidence. The woman, who is 39 years old, remains in critical condition tonight at Temple University Hospital. We're also awaiting word on the condition of her baby. Police are hoping to get any surveillance video from the area as they continue to search for the shooter. Updates on this breaking story as we learn more. New developments tonight in the coronavirus pandemic. Records are being shattered for new COVID-19 cases all across our region. Tonight, dire warnings from health professionals calling for increased measures to help slow the spread. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Tonight's coronavirus headlines painting a grim picture of the state of this pandemic. Pennsylvania has more than 4,700 new cases today. That number is shattering previous records for the state. Delaware County hospitals have been diverting patients, and there are longer than normal wait times in emergency rooms because of the recent spike. New Jersey's attorney general is quarantining at home after a staff member he had contact with tested positive. Kerbeer Graywall initially tested positive, but a second test came back negative. And now the policy lab at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia recommends that all schools in the region switch to virtual learning by Monday. The group is also suggesting all workplaces allow employees to work remotely as soon as possible. Well, calling the COVID-19 situation in Philadelphia catastrophic, CHOP's policy lab chief said today that regional schools should consider going back to remote only learning. Kimberly Davis has reaction from educators. She is live in South Jersey tonight. Kimberly. Jess, as COVID-19 cases continue to increase across the country, health officials are now rethinking in-person learning, and teachers say they're on board with staying virtual, at least for now. 